Are you ready? One, two. Jeremy here, and if Hales has to freeze over this week, which there's a really strong possibility might happen, we're gonna get a storage unit. I don't care what we have to do, we're gonna get a storage unit. We found an absolutely incredible storage unit on storagetreasures.com in Columbus. Four deer heads, deer hide, gun cases, the whole deal. Probably thousands upon thousands of dollars to be made. Unfortunately, law of right of redemption still applies. They came in, paid their fee, First thing in the morning, four hours before the auction ended, and we didn't get to buy it. So, we're going for number two, the backup plan. The goal today is to head into, look at here, great value storage on Georgesville. How in the world could you go wrong with Georgesville? And because it's Georgesville, I'm willing to put a bid in on this unit. It is about an hour and 45 minutes away from me. So let's look at what's in this unit, if we can. We'll look here. We don't see much here except for household units. But if we scroll into the next and then into the next, if you see up at the top, that looks to me like it could be a gun case. So we think there's maybe some value there. Consulting with George, she said, how in the world could you ever go wrong with buying a unit at Georgesville? So you might as well go for it. So she's the boss. We're going to go ahead and go for it, hopefully finding something more than just household items and hopefully getting it for a great price as well. Here's another look at what I think is potentially a gun case. You let me know. What do you think? Gun case or not? In the comments, let's find out before I even go and travel an hour and 45 minutes to pick it up. Do you think it's in there? Instead of waiting until the last three minutes, we're going to place a bid right before the three minutes so we don't add three minutes to this auction. The goal is to not let them know in enough time to bid again. So we're going to go ahead and bid. We'll see what happens. And now it says current minimum bid is $80. And uh, we're not the high bidder. So we're at five minutes. We're going to go ahead and bid at $80 again. Get out of here. We'll place our bid and we're going to confirm our bid and see what happens. And we are not the high bidder. We're going to go at the hundred dollars and hopefully we get a profit margin to work with. We're going to confirm the bid. Bid now. We do see car parts in here, which is always good as well. And we are not the high bidder. We don't want to add any more time to the auction. We want to get the unit for a decent price. And let's see what happens. Bid again. You're not the high bidder. They see the gun case, if it is indeed a gun case. So we're going to go 140. And confirm bid. Now where are we at? Current high bid, we're not the high bidder. They see the gun case as well. We're gonna go 210 and hopefully get it in before the last three minutes so we don't add any time. We're going for it and see what happens. We are the high bidder and we didn't, it doesn't look like we added any time. We got it in without adding time. Now here's what happens. We did. We got it right in before adding three more minutes. Now, Storage Treasures is going to email the other bidders and say, hey, you've been outbid. If we're lucky, they won't get that information because they're at work. So we're the high bidder at 210. The other person had the, the bid in at 200. Let's find out and see if we can keep it at 210. When the auction dropped to just a minute, somebody put in another bid. We now are no longer the high bidder at 220. And so if we want in, we got to go 230. So if we put in a bid now, which we're going to do, if we put in a bid now, it's going to add another three minutes to the auction. Let's see what happens. And we are the current high bidder, but we also added time. 
Not exactly what we wanted. We were hoping that the individual that was bidding before put in a max bid of 200, which they did. We're probably at work and so couldn't watch it live to put in another bid. But my guess is that is what happened. And then somebody else is interested in this unit because they see the gun case. And they came back in within the last minute to put a bid in and bid us up. Okay, right now, we're still high bidder. Cleaning deposit, $100. You get that back once you clean it out. There is sales tax as well, as you can see right here, 7.5%. Okay. Remember, storagetreasures.com is going to charge my credit card 15% as well because I don't pay for the membership. So we'll see if we can win this one. I was outbid yet again with just a couple minutes to go. Therefore, I'm going to bid at 260, hoping that their threshold is 250 and they bow out. 260 will be my final bid on this unit. Even at that, because things are so slim right now, I think it'd be a challenge driving an hour and 45 minutes away. I'm not extremely comfortable with going with 260, but I'm going to do it for the fun of YouTube. Here we go. And we are the high bidder at 250. We're down to 20 seconds. We're still the high bidder. The good news is this mattress looks like it's in good condition, which means I can get easily 200 bucks out of it up here in my area. And anything else could be profit. So if there's a gun case, I can get $7,500 out of it if it's good. Here we go. Let's find out. Did we win? And ha ha! 250. We got it. Let's get on the road and let's hurry before somebody goes and redeems this. Remember, they have the right to go and pay their delinquent fees up to the point before you pay for it. So I've got to get there fast. I got an hour and 45 minute drive to go pick this up before they go in and pay their fees. Here we are. Georgesville Road. It's a real road. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Georgesville Road. <laughs> We're going left on Georgesville. Look at this. This entire town is devoted to George. I would like to say that it was my idea, but I, I can't take credit. Must have been YouTubers. George, you've got some fans out there. They created an entire town, an entire square in your honor, Georgesville. Because you're the most Georgist George we know. Haha, <laughs> right here. You ready? Let's open it up and let's find out what's inside. <laughs> well, we definitely have box springs. And as we take a closer look, there's the gun case right up there. We're going to have to find out if there's a gun or not. Once we got the box springs out of the way, this is what it looks like. Still don't know what these giant metal things are encasing. I have a feeling these might be large lights, maybe the type that you see in stadiums. There's definitely a washer back there, I think, as well. And again, I think this is a gun case. What are the chances of there actually being a gun in this case? Pulling one of the totes down, we got a little school desk. Looks like you would put blocks up in there, something. What would you, if you know, timestamp it, let us know where this is at in the video. I'll give you an example. So you have to timestamp with the time with a with an actual colon, not a semicolon, not a comma, not a period. And then let us know what it is that you would stick in that actual desk up top there. Clearing some more items out of the way. We've got a Jack Daniels background mirror, unfortunately busted in the corners, but maybe I can take this over to Worcester Glass. Maybe they can they can cut the edges sharp and then I'll even it up on the on the actual glass and sell it as an original Jack Daniels old number no. seven brand promotional item. I just have to have the glass company, it'll cost me 10 bucks, have them cut it and make it nice and neat again and I'll get the money back. I'm not typically an artiste, I'm more typically a fartiste, but I learned all that from George. I've got a ton of art now. So take a look here, some beautiful landscapes, little swinging thing there, 
some older pictures as well. Probably these will either go in the warehouse or they'll go straight to the auction house. As I share with you often, there is always a story. And this one involves a lawyer. So all kinds of things. Probably most of these pictures were in a law office. We've got the actual district court uh, seal of Ohio as well, certifying his lawyership. There's a Pennsylvania Bar Association certificate back behind that as well. So who knows what the rest of the story is. Right now, all we know is a lawyer. Well, I can't show everything today. I'll show you bits and pieces, and then maybe if I find more tomorrow, we'll look. I mean, $250, brand new kids' clothes right here. I mean, that could be $250. Now, you know what I do with them is I donate them. I just don't have a desire or a love for clothes and can go and help other people. So why not do it? Make the money with the tax write-off instead of the sale. Let's take a look at this here. This is a basket of toys and there's some other totes as well. There's a Peppa the Pig right there for all of those who love Peppa and Muddy Puddles. Eh, some of this stuff is not doing too hot either. I think this is is that a kid's sister that skates or something like that? Are they supposed to skate? They're Skechers. 2000 Hasbro. I don't know if it, I forget what this thing is called. Uh, we got some motor oil in there with them. Top to a thing. And we got a, got a troll head. Look, that looks like a YouTube troll. Big smile hiding behind a keyboard. Okay, we've got some accessories. We got I, this isn't much. Of, this isn't much of anything. This looks like some kind of maybe a karaoke thing. And, oh, oh no, 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 empty. Sad part is it's about three o'clock and I haven't had lunch. Nor did I bring anything. But <laughs> look at that. Okay, that. That works for me. All right, I might not have brought anything, but let's give it the sniff test first. Here, you sniff it too. Uh-huh. You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I think you are. Well, that's good. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me go. This little thing here. Mm. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. All right. We're going to go through a few things here now that lunchtime is over. And let's see if I can actually zoom on down. There we go. Uh, let's, let's set the purse aside. We'll dig through that in just a second. We got Alice the Amber Fairy. We got, looks like a Fitbit watch. Nope, just the part of it. We got a couple magazines. We got a Sensi thing. Never seen that before. Oh, and we've got some beautiful artwork. A couple of rabbits. I'm not sure. Maybe these are like pogs. Maybe you, maybe you save these and collect these like pogs. We'll set that aside. And we definitely have a purse filled with stuff absolutely filled with stuff and <laughs> wouldn't you know it wouldn't you know it we got more artwork more collectibles i think that's a pencil taking a test i'm not sure i would want to take a test after using this that wouldn't make me feel very secure or happy but i i definitely would use use that actually i probably should just take this home and use that that way we got some extra there oh look at that look at that beautiful artwork Man, maybe I should just hang these up on a wall and 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 then enjoy all the beauty that they bring. All right, we're going to set that over there. Let's see what we have here. We've got a football. We got some DVDs. We got Xbox 360. We got an iPod player there as well. Oh, look at this behind it. Let's set that over here. Look at this here. I'm going to bring you in closer. This looks like an old, old metal box. 
Okay, I can see GE right here. Look at that, GE, GE. Let's see if we can find a date. Oh man, it's heavy. Okay, anybody see a date on there? 220, I don't see a date. It looks cool. Let's see if we can get it open. There's a tab here, there's hinges in the back. <clears throat> These gloves aren't gonna be helpful, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. What do we have here? That, that's for meat grinding. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, I think this is parts and pieces to a meat grinder. Gun case is still waiting for us up there. I wanted to save the best for last, but these, Giant lights, they are what I thought they were. They are giant lights, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. So I don't know how much they're worth, but I got a feeling that we got more than our money's worth in the $250 that we spent on this unit. Look at over here, we got a bumper. Again, I don't know what vehicle this goes to yet, but, $250? Yeah, I think probably so, just in the bumper. And hopefully, we can figure it out just with that info right there. It looks like we've got a boom pod, which I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's a gaming chair. Let's open her up. And sure is. It looks, it looks brand spanking new. See here? Got speakers, controls, the whole deal. Paperwork is in the box. So that's great. Not sure how much they're worth. Maybe you know. If you could leave a comment, let us know. Because we don't have time to look this all up while we're actually making the videos for you. Let's see what else we have here. We're going to get in a little bit closer on these boxes. We got an Iron Mountain legal box. And we've got cable systems, fiber optic cable assembly, gold. Looks like we've got bags and bags and bags of it. That'll be interesting for sure. Okay, I wonder what in the world that would be worth. This here says hamster or gerbil cage. So there we go, we got a full hamster gerbil cage. And let's see what we got here. We've got a brand new sealed DigiPro 8x6 drawing tablet. Completely sealed, a little bit of damage from being in storage. Here's a Harley Davidson helmet right there. Extra large, let's see what we got. Yeah, <laughs> we don't have the helmet. We got some Xbox 360, some movies, what about Bob, a leather thing, and an auto appearance kit. Not sure what that is, but I much rather would have had the Harley Davidson helmet. That would have been great. That would have been an easy hundred bucks. It's four o'clock now. It's workout time. I got this really sweet, not sure how it works. Leg machine, but I think, ah, oh yeah, feel the burn, feel the burn, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, oh my thighs. I'm just down to the last few items and I gotta get out of here quick so I can get my security deposit back. So here we go, we got a dork stop, there's definitely, you hear it, there's noise in there. So we're gonna find out what's in here. Here we go. First, first clip, second clip. Let me swing over here. Third clip, fourth clip. Are you ready? One, two, three. I don't think you're ready. Here, count with me. One, two, three. Oh no! No, 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 no. Christmas, more Christmas. Every unit has Christmas. Not every unit has a gun that'll pay for the unit. 
Can't believe it. Well, you win some, you lose some. If you haven't registered yet for the eBay training on March 30th, make sure you send an email to whatthehails at yahoo.com so you want to reserve your spot and you will receive information how to send $29 to help cover the cost of the conference room and reserve your spot. We got to know you're serious about showing up. We can't book a room and have nobody there. And spots are already filling up. There is a limit. So make sure you let us know as fast as possible. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you know when the new videos come and there'll be new videos all week. And leave a comment, share it, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it twice. Remember, adventure awaits. Go find it. Look what I found. I found another one of these pewter angel coins in the unit, but I didn't show it on film because you've already seen it in another unit and you've told me what it is. Now I have two of them. I have a matching angel set. There's George back again. She never went to sleep last night trying to get this live stream to work appropriately. She's committed. Are you going to sleep at all tonight, sweetie? I'm going to try to. Did you think you get it? You got it yet? I accidentally went live. <laughs> well, I thought I changed it to private, but it was somehow it changed to public. So That's all right. That's not the first time you've done that. Surprise! We're live! You'll get it, baby.